Hey guys, it's Lee Gaming here, and today I am going to be showing you how to build a smelter in Tinker's Construct. So, first off, what you want to gonna do is go oops, and tr make this sear brick stuff. Now, to make this sear brick, you need to make uh, sear brick, which you make by smelting grout when the way you craft grout is with clay sand and gravel and that gets you two grout now once you'll need about 17 of these for the simplest uh smelter and you'll see why i say this later so after that you're gonna need a seared tank which is eight seared brick surrounding a piece of glass what this is going to be used for it's going to be used to uh, fuel the smeltery and you're going to need lava for that next you're going to need a smeltery controller this is where you're going to see like what type of ore and how much you have in it and this is made by eight bricks uh, leaving the middle space empty next you're going to need the smeltery drain you'll need two of these and the way you make it is three along the right and left side all the way down. Next you're going to need two of these seared faucets which is to pretty much pour out the liquid you want. So I'm just actually going to go ahead and take these quick. There's a little more you'll have to make. I just want to take these out. Oh, a little lag. Sorry about that. So next thing you're going to make is the casting table. This is what you're going to use to make tools and stuff. Uh, it's made by three along the right side, three seared bricks going down the right and left side, and one on the top. Middle. And then next what you're going to want to do is make the casting basin, which is the same except upside down. So now we're going to get into actually building the smeltery. So first what we're going to do is make a 3 by 3 area and fill that in with these seared bricks. Next what you're going to want to do is take the smeltery controller, place it down here, place a brick in the middle, whoops, place a brick in the middle and place the seared tank. Next, you're just going to want to surround one, the back and left side. It doesn't really matter um, what, like, alright, let me just show you next. Next, you're going to want to put these smeltery drains down. Now, it doesn't matter which side you put these drains down. It could be here, here, or here. But the uh, controller and empty tank always have to be up front. So now you can see that the smeltery is good. What well, you know it's good when it starts like it's lit up and it looks like it's smelting. So now to actually extract the ores, this casting basin uh, makes it into uh, like ore blocks. What you're gonna want to do is place these down on like a layer below and put the faucets there. So now you'll right click the faucets and liquid will come out and I'll show you guys that in a second so now to power this uh, seared tank you'll need some lava oh I'm also playing on a mod pack right now so yeah so you'll need some lava and you can fill it up to 4,000 uh, of the liquid and now if I go and take this just take some gold you can see oh hold on yeah you can put the gold in the smeltery controller and you can see now that it started to smelt. So when that smelts it'll become an ore and it'll go in there and tell you how much you have. Now each ore you get equals out to two of it. So if I get, let's say, if I get one iron it's going to equal two iron ingots in the smeltery. So you can upgrade this. You, if you want to upgrade it, all you have to do is place another layer of uh, seared bricks on, along above that layer. 
And as you see here that the gold has smelted into four ingots. I put two in there and it came out as four. And now I can extract the liquid. And this is gonna make a, right here, this made a blank cast. And you won't need that right now because it's not used for the building. But yeah, as you see here, the smeltery has increased by, I think, 28 block 28. And now if I bring it up again, it should increase by even more. And, yep, see, you can also bring this down. And if you like, here, let me grab a stack of gold. So grab a stack of gold. I can fit almost half a stack of that in there. So that it would all smelt and go in. So yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you want me to continue uh, like more on this mod and like, show you how to make actually make tools and stuff, just tell me in the comment section below. And if we can also hit maybe 10 likes then I'll continue doing other tutorials. So yeah, I hope you all enjoyed, and I will see you all later. Goodbye.